everyone, welcome to episode one of Full Swing Sessions. Today we're going to walk you through how to operate your full swing simulator. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, starting with our simulator turned completely off, we'll go ahead and locate the computer in our cabinet here. Find the power button top center, go ahead and press that one time, and it'll turn blue to let us know it's loading. While our computer is loading, go ahead and access the remote to our projector. We're going to go ahead and power our projector on. Just make sure that when you turn the projector on, you're pointing the remote at the projector and not the screen. So one click there, and that's going to go ahead and load momentarily as well. Now that our computer is loaded up, our touchscreen monitor will load with the computer. If for any reason it doesn't, you can access the power button on the right side with the volume controls as well. Next, go ahead and access the Full Swing OS app, and you're going to double tap that to open it up. From here, go ahead and click Run, and this will load momentarily. Now that we have our user home screen loaded, we have our different game options here. You can tap to the right or to the left to go through our different games, or you can swipe. So we're going to go ahead and click into Golf for now. Go ahead and tap the icon when you're ready to load. Our final step is to make sure our ION2 camera is turned on. You can find the remote either mounted near the touchscreen monitor or placed on the cabinet below. You can go ahead and give that one click and that will turn the camera on. In summary, there are four main steps to powering on your full swing simulator. The computer needs to be turned on, the projector, our touchscreen monitor, and our ION2 camera. At this point, I would like to make note that the majority of our simulators will have an ION2 camera that automatically turns on with the system and will not require the user to use a light switch. Alright, now that we've finished our session, we're going to go ahead and exit out of our app and turn off our full swing simulator. So start by going to the exit option in the bottom left. I'll ask you, are you sure? Go ahead and click yes. From here, it'll take us back to our user screen, find the box in the upper right hand corner, give that a tap to X out, and then one more tap at the X here. From here, go ahead and treat this as a normal Windows computer, go to the home screen, access the power icon, and shut down. All right, everyone, that's gonna wrap up episode one of Full Swing Sessions. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to leave any questions, comments, or training ideas in the comments box below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Stay tuned for episode two coming up next week, and be sure to follow us on social at Full Swing Simulators. All right, everyone, have a great week, and we'll see you then.